Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today, we did this look. I was undecided of what I wanted to do. So I did a vote on Instagram stories. It was either an olive green or like a plum colored eye. And this won by a very small percentage. And um, I'll still do a plum eye as well. I just didn't know what one I wanted to do first. But I'm glad I did the olive green. I don't think I have ever done an olive green eye look on my channel. I know I've done green looks, but not like an olive green or like a matte green. Maybe I have, but it hasn't been in a long time anyway. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you want to see this whole look, please keep watching. My poor eye here is really, really, really sore. It was like a two in one. You know when you get two pimples in one? Yeah, that's what this happened. And it was like all swollen underneath the skin. So that was a fun time the shit out of me but anyway it is what it is this one's dead this was a pimple and uh, but overall my skin has been really good there's still some redness like from old breakouts but overall like i haven't been breaking out nearly half as bad as what i used to every now and again this is my own fault this was for me too much sugar in such a short amount of time and this is what happens but anyway it is what it is it will clear up pretty soon because I'm gonna just go on a sugar detox and not eat that much. I'm gonna put on some strobe cream and then I'm gonna use my hourglass primer. But anyway, so that's why I break out is from sugar. So we've that done, then the primer. For foundation, I'm gonna use my NARS Creamy Radiant and I'm gonna mix a little bit of my Juda Hula with it. My foundation is the shade Fiji. Okay, I'm just going to use a Morphe E7 brush. I'm just going to use this just to put the product on. Because I'm going to blend it out with a sponge. I go through phases with using sponges and brushes. But right now I'm in a sponge phase. So we're just going to go with it. I'm just going to put in some of my Juda Hula. So Juda Hula is just a liquid bronzer. It's really nice to mix with your foundation, just to give you a little bit more of a bronzy look. It's also really nice on its own, just gives you that really nice subtle bronzy look to the skin. This one is from Ofra and honestly, so good. Like so, so good. It's just as good as a beauty blender. So I'm not sure the price actually, I must check that out. But I'm going to guess and say it's not as expensive as a beauty blender. Um, honestly... So good. Just as soft as a beauty blender. Does exactly what a beauty blender does. So I definitely recommend these. Like see, gives such a nice finish. Okay, I'm gonna highlight with shape tape. This shade I use is a light sand. By the way, I'm just like sitting in my hall today. I like the light in here. Uh, we'll probably. I'm just gonna honestly. I'm just gonna film wherever I feel like it from now on. I'm gonna blend this out with the sponge. Um, yeah. So I'm just filming in my hall today because I like the light in here. Sometimes in my makeup room, there's too much direct sunlight that comes in, and it's just too much light when I'm filming. Sorry, my phone rang. And then my camera shut off. And now I don't know if my my settings don't look the same, even though they are the same. So if everything looks weird, I'm sorry. But anyway, I just blended out my concealer with this. And I can't remember what I was talking about, but... Okay, I'm going to set. I'm going to use this Huda Beauty powder. This is the shade Pound Cake. Um... I was not expecting to like this powder. I really wasn't for some reason. I just thought it was going to be like heavy and cakey. But honestly, I was very, very pleasantly surprised. Like, if you've been following me for a while, you know, there's only certain setting powders that I like because the rest of them end up looking cakey or it, it creases. But this is like so finely milled that it's kind of great. I know. I, I don't know why I was expect not expecting to like it. I just really thought it was going to be heavy. 
but it's really nice. So I'm gonna use this to set my concealer. I'm gonna use the same brush, or I'm gonna use the same sponge and just set this. It also smells really nice too. Like it kind of smells perfumey, but not like a gross overpowering perfume. I actually kind of like it. Then take another little bit and just kind of do around my mouth, around the sides of my nose, and just a little bit through my forehead. Just a little bit. I don't like lots of powder. I'm going to contour it using the Smashbox Studio Skin in the shade 2.1. I'm going to use this brush from BH Cosmetics, it's a number 6 brush. I'm just going to put some on the brush and then just blend this underneath my cheekbones. I forgot I was supposed to do this before I used my powder but I didn't really powder this area so it should be fine. But I would usually do like my cream products first and then then add my powder. Because sometimes if you put cream on top of powder, it can be a hot mess. I'm gonna prime my lids with my Soft Over Paint Off from MAC. What the fuck is in my eyebrow? I have glitter in my eyebrow. Could be worse things in there. So I wasn't sure whether to do a olive green smoky eye or like a plum colored eye. So I did a little vote on Instagram and right now it's at 53% for green. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This one is the Armed and Gorgeous. Gorgeous? Armed and Gorgeous palette. Cause it has this really nice green shade that I wanna use. So I'm going to use that. I really like these palettes. I feel like there's like a lot. I feel like people have been hating on these palettes for some reason. I don't know. I think they're great. Well, the only one I've used from the four is this one. And I've used this a good few times and really, really like it. So I don't know. I'm just going to use it anyway because I like it. So in this palette, a lot of the mid-tone shades are quite warm. Like this, this, and this. So I'm going to use a little bit of this shade just to kind of break it up. Because I don't want it... I don't know, I just don't want it to be too warm. Even though it'll probably end up looking warm, but whatever. I'm gonna just try this anyway. This is called Birkin, and it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah, just throw it across the ground. This is the shade. Just so you can, okay. It looks actually a lot lighter on camera, but it's just like a mid-tone brown. Okay, you can see it better there. How are you? Were you sleeping? And I woke you up, didn't I? Did I wake you up? The minute I went in to do my crease, my battery died. I swear, one thing after another. Let's do this again. I'm gonna blend this in the crease. So we just have a nice transition shade then to blend the other colours into. This brush that I'm using is a Zoeva 228 brush. I use this brush a lot. I think I probably have about 10 of these, they're so good. Now we're going in to the palette. I will use this one, which is called agent and then just going into the crease again not as high up as the first shade but still high enough up that you can see it especially with my eye shape i tend to have to go a little higher with my shadows because otherwise then when i open my eyes like everything just loses because i don't have a huge lid or like a lot of space on my lid I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush, it's a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JK or JH30. I'm going to take a little bit of the Birkin shade, just a small tiny bit on the top of the brush and just soften the edges out. Okay, I 
did end up going a lot warmer than I was expecting. It actually looks way warmer on camera than it does in real life. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the green on the lid. But before that I just want to make the lid just slightly tacky. So then when I put the shadow on top it's just going to really stick and like intensify the shadow. With the matte shade you want to be careful you don't want it too sticky. You want to make sure that the products that you're going to put on the lid is like evenly distributed because when you put the matte shade on top you want it all to be really even and not patchy. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Primer and I'm just going to put a little bit on my lid. I'm just going to use my finger now that I can because I took my nails off. I just took my nails off for just a change. Just to kind of give my nails a break. They've been on for years. I'm just pressing that all over the lid. And then I'm going into the green, which is called Top Secret. I'm just pressing this all over. This brush that I'm using to put the green on is a Fenty brush. I will tell you the number in a sec. Ooh, that actually went on quite perfectly. Uh, Fenty eyeshadow brush, that's just what it's called. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go back in with my brush then just to soften any edges, even though it kind of went on pretty great. I'm gonna take this brown, it's called Smooth Criminal, or this brown. I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs brush, it's called the Crease. I'm just going to get a little bit of this smooth criminal shade and just soften out the edges. I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs pencil. This is the shade Brownie. So it's like a, it's a dark brown, but it's a bit more of like a warmer tone brown. I'm going to go underneath my eye along my lash line and into my waterline as well. I'm just using a small shader brush. I'm just gonna blend this out. It doesn't have to be perfectly neat because it's gonna be more of a smokier look anyway. So I just did my lash line first and blended it out because it dries quite quick. And um, so I wanted to make sure I had time to blend that out. And now I'm just gonna do my waterline. I'm just going to take this small little brush, it is no idea because there's no name or anything on it but it's like this size and I'm going to take the green eyeshadow, I'm going to press it on top of the eyeliner and blend it out as well. I'll take the shade Agent which is the crease shade and I'm going to blend this out, blend the edges. I'm not sure how I like this, how it's looking. I think I should have done it a different way. I don't like how this under eye is looking, so I'm just going to take some of it off. Okay, so that just wasn't working. So I took it off. I left it like in my waterline and just like lightly along my lash line because I'm going to do it again anyway. But uh, yeah, that just, that wasn't happening for me. So I'm going to go back in with my Marc Jacobs. And I'm just going to do the same thing again, along here, and then again, blend it out. I'm just going to take this small blending brush from Blank Canvas, it's an E42 brush. And I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills shade and just soften this out. Now, see how much better that blends. I can go back in again with the green and just kind of go over top. And take a little bit of smooth criminal. I'm going to take more of the green just to go a little bit darker. So once I have that done, I'm just going to quickly add mascara and lashes. My hair looks green. What is the deal with that? 
Yeah, I think it's just the light that's coming in through this way. Ooh. So now that I have my eyes done, I'm going to bronze my skin. I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Bronze Babe Bronzer. Oh shit. Why does it look worse on camera than in real life? I promise it doesn't look that bad. I think it's the light. Whoa, I really hate this lighting today. It started off good, ended tragic. So I apologize for the shitty lighting. Next time I'll be on it. Now I look like Patch Adams. I promise this makeup does not look as bad as it looks right now. There's just so much green everywhere and I don't know why. I don't know why my hair looks green. I don't know why my face looks patchy. But right now, I am not happy. I am excited about one thing and I'm very excited that MAC is bringing back Silver Dusk. This was one of my first favorite highlighters ever. Like when I, when I first worked at MAC, I used to wear this all the time, like all over. It was, oh, I fell in love with it, so nice. But then of course MAC discontinued it because they do that with so many good products. Why MAC? I just hope it's as nice as I remember. It is a little bit lighter. I do prefer a more goldeny. Hang on a minute, because they brought back the other one too. There was Silver Dusk, and then there was another one called Golden Bronze, which is obviously a more goldeny, bronzy one. So what I remember I used to do is I used to mix them because the Golden Bronze on its own was too dark for me. So now I'm gonna mix these two because this is too light. It's gorgeous, but I just want it to be a little bit more Goldeny. I'm just going to go light on my lips. I'm going to take this lip pencil from NYX. It's called Nude Beige. I'm going to take a little bit of Flesh Pot lipstick from MAC. And I'm just going to press on this on top. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of gloss on. Just gonna use it with my finger. Oh, I love the smell of this glass so much, it makes me just wanna eat it. So, this is the finished look. I really, really like this green. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I hope, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you're ready for lots of smoky eyes because they're a coming. I am ready for smoky eyes, I am ready for glittery eyes, I am ready for everything that fall and winter brings. As always, thank you so much for watching and for all your support, and I'll see you in the next video.